all right welcome back we just got done beating king jellyfish and i'm going to do five episodes of spongebob to maintain a, a weekly thing maybe seven um and then i'll do like there'll be five or seven episodes recorded you guys can comment i'll read those comments and i will apply any relevant information to the next week's batch of recordings so i hope you like my game grumps style of recording yes it's 100 percent me ripping them off and i'm admitting it what you gonna do about it huh see no problem you can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to what the hell like this is the first time i ran into you larry the implication of see no problem is referencing that you said something to me before i've never met you in this game before larry i know who you are larry but does spongebob know who you are i'm confused the funkin waggle are you talking about larry Whoa. Okay, I'm doing my best to cut loading times out. Um. Okay, so the entire reason why I need the jelly was to give it to Squidward. Oh yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, Squidward, please don't. All those sounds will be used on the internet for the most inappropriate things. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Never mind, Spongebob's doing it. Uh, what if I just gave you this? <laughs> you get an achievement point for beating the jellyfish and then giving the jelly to Squidward. Hooray, I had a memory. Uh, so in the previous episode, I addressed my experience with Spongebob and uh, like in general my feelings towards him is i enjoy the show but it's not a show that i'm fanatical about i see the appeal and i like i mostly like listening to people talk about spongebob like the the experiences that people have with spongebob as a character are far more interesting than the show itself um although some of the creative sides are really super interesting like patchy the pirate is actually the voice actor of spongebob and there is this huge conspiracy theory Just where they people think that patchy the pirate is not only obsessed with spongebob but he ends up dying in the show which causes him to somehow time travel to the first episode called shanghai where the flying dutchman appears and Ouch, my brain hurt. Um, like, the fans of the show are fun. Like, some of them can get really creepy, but the majority of them are just really creative, fun people. Um,. Honestly, the, the Patchy the Pirate Theory is my favorite by far because it's it's super dark and like it has a lot of merits to add to the story and not take away. My least favorite SpongeBob theory is that SpongeBob and the main cast are representations of the deadly sins and that's such a freaking stupid theory i don't even like 
literally every source of media has that theory. Oh, Mario represents wrath. Bowser represents lust. Princess Peach represents this, that, and the other thing. Ugh. Fucking Ganon is wrath. Link is gluttony because he eats a lot. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Fucking stop. You can literally take any it's like it's like um what the hell is that thing called like capricorns and cappuccinos and shit um you can literally say one person's um star sign daily news article bullcrap and it will apply to anybody so do you want to trade shiny of that yes. quality craftsman? Yay, I got a thing. Will it give me more? So, do you want to trade that quality? Yay. So, like, how many can you buy from him? That's insanity. I love that kind of stuff. That reminds me of the blue coins from um, Mario Sunshine. Ugh, God. Mario Sunshine. What a love hate relationship I have with that game. Like, you think of my opinions about, like, Mario 64 are bad. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis. Now a debris covered crater. Like, can I get, like, an audio balancing? SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate. She is jiggly. All right, but it's going to take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum. Evacuate. We have to get everyone to safety. Wait, what? Wait, what? Hang on, what? Okay, I know SpongeBob can be dumb. But how do you mix up the word evacuate? Evacuate with vacuum evacuum eight evacuate vacuum what can we just load them up in the boats that won't do any good why not why not <laughs> i love it when the game actually knows exactly what i'm gonna ask so i don't have to ask it because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Oh, yeah, that's logical. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? Uh, no. No, there are too many turns. Yes. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. The SpongeBob think that the robots made the roads turn? <laughs> SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. Second favorite character is Mrs. Puff. She is messed up. She is a, a kleptomaniac who has a husband who was turned into a light for some dude's desk is dating spongebob's is boss and has like a significant criminal history like look at this character and just have that in mind and go oh this is a kid's show <laughs> like what the hell that's why I love her so much. She's like, also the voice actor is just really good. And she has like screaming lungs, like not obnoxious, annoying screaming lungs. There's like an episode where she's like in a dream inside of a dream inside of a dream. And she's just like, has to scream for like minutes at a time. That's like so hard on the voice. The voice actress for Mrs. Puff, I don't know her name. Give me one second. 
Mary Jo Catlett. I gotta make sure that I give these people their props. She kind of looks like Mrs. Puff. Like the picture I'm looking at has her kind of looking up at the sky and to the left or something. She vaguely looks like Mrs. Puff. Um, this woman has all of my respect voice acting wise. Like her ranges from anger to happiness to sadness to sheer insanity screaming underplayed she's a damn good voice actor and the very first voice I ever heard her do was in spongebob and i have not heard her voice anywhere else and that saddens me maybe it's like a she gets paid enough to do this one role type deal but like i don't recognize her from anything else and this character is just top notch insanity and i love it how about a driver's license instead how about go fuck yourself nice try <laughs> like you can just hear the way that she talks and it's oh, like sparkly I don't know. There's there's a few character actors. What the crap's this? What the hell is my night? Oh, I am a monkey ball. I I swear to God, I saw a toy that looked just like this nightmare. I'm rollerific. Whoa. Okay, can I clip onto any parts of the terrain? Number one in the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three Whoa. years running. Uh, thank you. Because, like, it's a remake of older game tropes. One of the things that early 3D platformers really struggled with was uh figuring out how to not let people cheese their stuff so i'm constantly on the lookout for cheese tactics um okay is that kitchen sink huh what am I supposed to do here? I love opening presents. Am I supposed to walk up there and kick its ass? What the hell? That was kind of scary. Hans is like secretly a movie monster the episode where like Spongebob You've has just the, met the sponge wrestle Plankton's giant glove hey, and you. Hans Everything just like Spongebob please you're constant into hi hello um look at the friggin textures okay like you don't see this level of texturing in most games it's like the, the freaking beauty and mastery of this shit that's the reason why i chose to make the videos like ultimately when i started making the video like or thinking about it i actually didn't think i would make videos about this game like i played it because i wanted to play it and I was like, eh, I'll give it a shot. It's free. Um, I didn't think it would be anything, honestly. But look at that. Is that hand painted with watercolors? She's a godforsaken nightmare. But everything else is really good. Like... <laughs> Like it's kind of startling. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Hmm. 
me 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 I know he Gary the dark night returns um like I know that they would not have uh recorded lines for that guy but the meat fish are some of my favorites so i decided to do it um there's an awful lot you can do with a character that does f all <laughs> and the meat fish are fantastic like there's like a, a tier list I guess I could try to make of characters that are really cool and like the reason why I like Squidward is because I don't like Squidward's character. I like that he's a dick that gets his comeuppance but when I started watching the earlier seasons the, the first appearances of Squidward the guy was just a dude wanting to relax and Spongebob was the dick bringing it around town like they switched Squidward's character up significantly and um like he, he went from like a, like, kind of an asshole like he was like a pessimistic asshole who just wanted to drink tea Up for and, a game of SpongeBob. and enjoy his life to the best of his ability and spongebob got in the way of that by being a complete and utter selfish turd honestly like spongebob was just this massively childish emotionally stunted freaking turd muffin and like I, I I don't the hell awesome um I, I guess like Squidward couldn't get justification for why he kept getting punished or something but when he went from being just a normal guy that spongebob kind of messed with town. on like a daily basis um to being a a self-centered prick that was full of himself to a degree that would make people on facebook and twitter not come to his defense that's saying a lot. Um, this ball puzzle sucks. Um, like, there's seasons one through four, I think. Um, Squidward. Bringing it around town. Please, Bringing SpongeBob. It around town. SpongeBob, shut the fuck up. Like, obviously. Bringing it around town. You motherfucker. I hate, I hate how much, like, Spongebob is annoying, okay? The character Spongebob is annoying to a fault. Like, he doesn't need to be this fucking annoying, but he is. And that's why I like Squidward in his early appearances was because he added some realism to the lunacy. I love opening presents. And he ended up getting punished for it. I just Dark Souls the opening. Nice. Um. Like him Take being that. him having justification for his punishments made him a more enjoyable character because it made sense why he got punished when he didn't have a real reason to be punished 
that's when I didn't like him. Like this that door make sense? is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Um, the person who fucking lives here and is trying to hide from the devastations of both robots and SpongeBob. Is that an outlandish thought? Like, don't get me wrong. Another I like SpongeBob as a character, but he's not innocent. He's not without fault. Um, in fact. I would say he has the most fault out of everybody in the entire show. Like, even Plankton is better than him as a character. Plankton has a wife. Plankton with the... He went to college! Like a spring green. Um, and, like, he has aspirations and goals that are for his livelihood and the like. Um, Spongebob? Kind of... not good. Um... Number one in the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you. Did I just... Did I... Like I said, this game is a remake of something... Hi, Gary! from an age long gone by, warts and all. And I like that. What's up with Gary's eyeballs? I don't know. Um, so Squidward's my favorite. Mrs. Puff is my second. My third favorite character is Sandy Cheeks because like her overall reaction to everything is fun as hell. And she just has such a charming, like she, loves everybody in her own folksy way like the friendship she developed with plankton in one episode was really really cool i really loved that episode and she was smart enough to know that plankton was using her the entire time she was just having fun doing science with the guy and i think legitimately if plankton didn't you know, try using her to teleport the crappy Patty, then they could have actually been really good friends. But instead, she befriended Karen. Like, the friendship between Karen, Mrs. Puff, and um, Sandy, I really love that. I could actually see a show being made around that. Like, or, like, more eccentric episodes. I don't know. Um, like, they went camping and that was okay. The flaw there was, well, honestly, SpongeBob took up half the episode with, like, pointless wandering around. And I would have actually loved to know more about the character Flippity Gibbets. <laughs> Like, that character was unhinged crazy that I wanted to know more about. Um, after Sandy, I kind of have a tie between um, Larry and Bubble Bass because they are representations of two extremes on the opposite ends of each other. and But they're still fanatical in almost similar ways like they juxtapose each other so perfectly i think an episode with them two interacting would be kind of cool um after that i kind of just whatever with the characters like they're kind of just there okay like gary is okay um Plankton is actually close enough to being another favorite, but he's kind of like one note. Meow? Exactly. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. 
He uses marshmallows as weights. <laughs> Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse. I was supposed to get to the lighthouse. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. I still don't know why. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. I get to play as Sandy? Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Oh my god. <laughs> It's so silly. <laughs> this is floating. <laughs> this is floating Texas. What the fuck? <laughs> that would be like if a game was made and it features an American and it had the entirety of the United States as like a logo. The Sandy Cheeks had to collect that. Uh oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, that kind of looks okay. like a swinging I'll go get puzzle. Sandy to help me out. Like... Yes, fuck it, man. Let's play a Sandy. I love opening presents. Ouch. Like... I am so down for that. I was just expecting Sandy to be like an NPC or something. Not a full blown playable character. Hell yeah. I feel like a new sponge. He's kind of nightmare inducing. <laughs> like, you look at him too close. <laughs> Oh, fuck yes. Like, no fanfare at all. No explanation to... She can fly. She can fly with her lasso. She can fly... and swing. She's Rayman too. Oh my god. That's awesome. I am so down for this. Alright, I'll see you next time.